In April of this year, a promotional video was released by China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology that went viral immediately. This video was used to show off what was essentially seen as a SpaceX Starship clone. With a company as large and successful as SpaceX, it's a bit surprising that there are not more clones in existence. But it seems like China may soon have one of their own. Founded by Elon Musk in May of 2002, SpaceX made a promise to change the idea of space travel as we knew it. And since then, they have been extremely successful in keeping that promise. Since the beginning, they have received multiple contracts from NASA due to their cost-effective methods in engineering. The idea of a reusable launching system was revolutionary and a lot of people thought it was a pipe dream. But as we all know, the super heavy boosters that are currently being tested by SpaceX in Texas are the real deal. They have been designed to successfully launch then detach themselves from the upper level of the Starship and come back down to the ground where they'll be set up and reused. Why wouldn't China wish to emulate SpaceX when they have been the center of attention in the space community? it would seem like a no-brainer. So let's break down the video that went viral just a little over a month ago. In this video, we saw just how much China has adored the tracks that SpaceX has been laying down for nearly the past two decades. They have always been one of the leading competitors in what we call the modern space race. Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, has openly welcomed competition simply because he believes the progress that we make with space travel is more important than the individual company that makes that progress. The goal of becoming a multi-planetary species is bigger than one single person or company. Within this video, we see China's idea for a reusable orbital rocket that will in theory be a direct competitor with SpaceX when it comes to low-cost space travel with reusable components. China, like SpaceX, has set massive goals for itself and these reusable rockets will be the biggest step towards reaching them. Also found within the video was the interesting idea of suborbital passenger flights, which would consist of the passengers being loaded into the spacecraft and traveling from city to city. The vehicle would take a vertical launch where it would reach suborbital heights before coming back down anywhere on the Earth in just about one hour. Within the duration of this flight, the passengers will get to experience something really special. When reaching suborbital levels, the passengers will begin to float in a zero-gravity environment. How cool is that? In this video concept, it was shown that a suborbital trip from New York to Shanghai would only take about 39 minutes. Sadly, speculation says that this is still about 20 years away. This was seen as a direct copy of SpaceX's initial plans that they announced a couple of years ago. Back in 2017, SpaceX revealed to us their vision of what the future of space travel would look like. What they pitched was essentially an end-to-end -end transportation system that would get you anywhere on Earth in a matter of hours via a starship that would see passengers entering suborbital space before landing back down anywhere on the globe. This soon turned into the idea that we know today as Starship, with more focus on getting mankind to Mars. And as we know, the company has had success with the Starship project and their magnificent spacecraft. The Starship SN16 is seemingly in preparation to launch and I think the space community is eagerly waiting to see the results. The new spacecraft that was seen in the viral video has been referred to as a Starship clone quite often since the concept reveal. The reason I, and so many others, call it a clone is due to the striking resemblance that China's concept bears to the SpaceX Starships that we have all seen and is currently in testing. From the reflective stainless steel clad to something that appears to be the exact same thing as a super heavy booster, straight down to the fins which are triangular to produce precise aerodynamics. That doesn't surprise me though. The SpaceX designs are meticulously planned out for efficiency. Why wouldn't you take ideas from that? China is hoping that they can make this concept of theirs into a reality by 2045. However, by 2035, China has hopes of already using this method of transportation. Only not for living passengers, instead they're hoping to use it as a means of transporting cargo around the world. This could be a major game changer for the shipping industry, and it would also allow China to test out this suborbital form of travel quite a bit before allowing everyday travelers to climb on board. The founder of LinkSpace, Hu Zhenyu, stated that the new Line 1 is going to be a small launch vehicle that will be specifically designed for micro and nano-satellite launches. The fact they may be able to reuse a new Line 1 rocket during the first stage of testing 
could drastically lower the cost of a single orbital launch. And as we know that this is the ultimate goal among these companies, the idea to reduce and refine the cost and efficiency of space travel has been largely seen as the main reason many privately owned companies are throwing their hats into the ring for the space race. According to research findings, the price of an orbital launch currently costs around $4.5 million. With the ability to reuse spacecrafts and launches, this will cut the price of orbital launches in half, if speculations are correct. And as more stages are added to these rockets that are able to be reused, we will only be seeing their price point plummet further. Originally, the new Line 1 was set to launch and begin testing in 2020, but it has ultimately missed that deadline. This was a deadline that Link Space set for itself back in 2017. Most people thought that this deadline was optimistic because at the time, the concept of a stage of Starship being reused was, at that point, just a concept. A lot of people had remained skeptical of its ability for years. That was until Elon Musk and SpaceX successfully had a test launch of a reusable rocket that ended in success. As of right now, the only two companies with reusable rocket technology in existence are SpaceX and Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos' company Blue Origin. Blue Origin was founded back in September of 2000 in Kent, Washington. Blue Origin's goal was the same as SpaceX and Link Space, make space travel cheap, accessible and more frequent. And with the fact that they are currently the only company besides SpaceX that currently has reusable launch systems. As you can see, China and SpaceX are not alone in their goals to improve the quality and affordability of space travel. And the more who enter the race, the more likely we'll be able to touch stars in our future. This has been a big deal for China and the modern space race. The more we look into what may be coming next, the more surprised we're getting. China shared all of this information at the 6th annual Chinese Space Day in the Jiangsu province of Nanjing, where another piece of tech that was shown off was nothing shy of greatness. China has officially unveiled its very first Mars rover, which, as of now, has officially landed on the Red Planet. On May 22nd of 2021, China's first Mars rover, the Zhurong, has finally made its landing. This makes China the second country to successfully soft land a rover on Mars and establish communications from the surface of our neighboring planet. The United States landed a base station with a roving probe on Mars back in July of 1997. They called this rover the Sojourner and it was the first rover to operate on the surface of Mars. This means that for the first time in almost 24 years, the United States isn't alone on Mars. This is probably the biggest step that another country has taken in the modern space race in the last decade. Zhurong is equipped with solar-powered technology that is designed to last at least 90 sols. Sols are what they refer to as Martian days, which is strikingly close to the length of our days. A sol is about 24 hours, 39 minutes and 35 seconds. With Link Space and other companies at the heels of SpaceX, we sure do live in exciting times. There's no telling what can happen next with the space race, but it would seem that the excitement is widespread throughout the world. With China being the second country to touch Mars' surface, I wonder what great accomplishment they'll make next, and we'll have to wait and see whether their Starship clone has the same level of success as SpaceX's Starship has had.